Ah, immer diese Technik. Hey, you made it. Hello. How are you? I'm good, thank you. I was just trying to figure out how this works because I actually... <laughs> I saw your eyes going up and down. And I was like, she's trying to accept it. I was like typing in, banging red flags. Like, what is it? Stressing out. I'm sure Pauline is watching us as well. Oh my god, she was like sending me a lot of messages. Like, <laughs> Do I have a package? But it's over there. I can't show you. Um, you're good? Everything is fine? Yeah, I'm fine. How are you? Yeah, I'm good. We just finished practice. And now, like... Are you in your room now? nice right <laughs> oh wow good conditions you are close to the to the pitch or for tomorrow uh i don't think so it's quite far for us as well okay. i think it's even further for us to drive to our game against you than driving to the netherlands really yeah. we have to drive two hours oh far mm -hmm. yeah no we just finished practice and yeah having dinner really soon yeah i'm starving too. already <laughs> We'll keep it short then. Yeah, our management gave me like uh, a lot of questions for you, so yeah. you better be prepared. Go ahead. <laughs> no, like, um, yeah, what do you think about the World Cup coming up for yeah, 27? Do you think it's a great opportunity for women's football to be present in uh, Europe? Yeah, it would be really nice, I think. Um, we've never qualified for a, for a World Cup, so um, it would be the easy way, of course. Um, But it would be really nice. Yeah, I agree. Like, I think it's a good good opportunity for Netherlands, Belgium, and especially Germany to yeah. get a lot of girls playing back. Because I think you're already present and you have a stage where you can show. How yeah. old are you going to be then? Do you think you're going to be, like, still playing? Um, I'm going to be 34, I think. So, yeah, I hope so. <laughs> for for sure. you're fit, right? What? You're fit. Yeah, I hope so. That I'm still, I'm still gonna be fit. Um, it, it could be a way to be, to be back in Wolfsburg one day. <laughs> Seriously, yeah. I think yeah, could be fun playing. In, like, what's there in Belgium? Like, what, the, what stadiums you you would recommend to play in Belgium? Um, we have a really nice one in Ghent. We've never played in it, so it's my dream to play oh. in it because it's really nice. It's That's all um, like glass around, so it's really nice. Nice. Um, and our home stadium is in Leuven. I think you've played there already mm -hmm. once, no? Um, the last game I remember playing against Belgium was when I was like, I think 17 or something. Okay. And then that's when we lost against you guys. Really? So it's been a while. Um, but I'm looking forward for tomorrow. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Have you recovered, recovered so far? Um, we had a hard game against Holland. It was, uh, uh, it was not the outcome we expected. Um, yeah. But that's the games that we need, I think, because um, I think for us that's the next step to compete against the, the, the biggest teams in Europe like you and to learn mm -hmm. from it. Because we still got a way to go. We improved a lot, but we still have a, a way to go. You have a lot of, like you, for example, as well, you have a lot of girls playing in Belgium right now, right? Yeah. Did you know in Belgium no one is professional? Oh. Yeah. yeah. Wow, yeah. so it's a big way, big way to go, and also because of this, I think it's a good, a good uh, reason to have a World Cup in Belgium, especially. Yeah, so uh, so people like be aware of women's football in Belgium as well. Well, it's getting better, of course, but like, um, yeah, we're still not professional and stuff, so um, we still have to improve on that. Because you have a lot of experience, like playing. You played in Germany, and you also played in. In England, for example, and how would you compare these three leagues? Yeah, well, the biggest difference is that here we train in the evening at eight o'clock because everyone is working during yeah. the um, But with the national team, it's going good. We have a lot of, uh, we have a big staff and stuff, so it's really good now. Mm. And especially your time in Wolfsburg, like how long have you been there? A year? Or uh, no, three seasons. Three seasons? Yeah, you just, just came too late, actually. Yeah, I'm fun. <laughs> I only know you from Manchester City, I think. Yeah. And Do I think play I played once against you with Potsdam. Yeah. I think, yeah. Uh, was that when I scored? No. <laughs> I, was that the <laughs> game? <laughs> Probably. 
uh, do you think you could you want you want to play in in England later or maybe Spain or what are your plans? Yeah, right now my contract is still to 23 in Wolfsburg in Germany. Mm -hmm. And like right now, I'm I'm really happy. We have a big cut next season, I guess. We have a lot of old players that are leaving. So we're going to have a younger team next season. And um, so it's also for me, I'm 24 right now. So it's uh, coming to a new role for me as well. So right now, this is like uh, a big step for us in Wolfsburg and for me personally as well. So now I'm really happy there. Yeah. And, um, I'm really close by my home as well, which I'm a family person. So it's really nice to be close to family, you probably know. Um, and right now I'm really enjoying it. But um, I would also say never to go overseas or get new uh, experience. So, yeah. Yeah, I think it's also good for, uh, yeah, mentally and for True. you for person development. And to yeah. get get to know new languages. But your yeah. English is good, so. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah. 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 Uh, what else do I have here? Um, oh, I saw that you have a package from Pauline for me. It's written care package here. So it's like survival package or what is it? I show you one thing. Okay. Uh, sorry about this. It's for you. Just the, just the <laughs> best. Oh my God. <laughs> Did she tell you the story behind it? No. Oh she just God. said to me, okay, hand this out to Tessa. So okay. I'm, I'm really keen on my food. And um, in city, we all have our own locker in the dressing room. And I always had rice cakes in it because it gives me energy before uh, before training whenever I'm hungry. And um, I know I had one rice cake left. And, <laughs> so you and count I, them all? What? You counted them all. Yeah, I always know how many I have. And um, <laughs> I, I came back from training and I had no rice cakes left. So I asked, like, who took it without asking? And no, and you, any, no one did it. <laughs> So it's still a mystery. I think that's why Pauline gave me rice cakes. That's actually really funny. <laughs> Are you the person that gets angry when you're feeling hungry? Uh, yeah, a little bit. Yeah, me as well. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm quite eating okay. all the time. Yeah, now you're good with rice crackers, I guess. Yeah. Oh, good job, quality. <laughs> Do you have protein before a game? Um... No, not really. I always have a banana with me whenever I'm on training or at a game because it fuels me. Um, but that's it. I don't really have anything else um, that I need before a game. What about you? Uh, I like... Um, so here with National Team, we got this really good sourdough bread. So yeah. before a game, I really love to eat sourdough bread with like uh, just a little bit of avocado and then and poached egg on top. So you never eat pasta? Do you never eat pasta before a game? Yeah, sometimes. Like when we play late, like maybe six or four or something like this, I also eat pasta. Okay. But when we, like, for you know, the German Bundesliga, we play it too a lot of time. Sometimes at 11. Oh, jeez. No, not yeah. anymore, though. Oh, Which is good, I think. I think 11 is too early. Yeah, I think so, too. Yeah, I like this for breakfast, like a brunch thing or like <laughs> porridge. And then, yeah, I think the most important is to just feel good in games. Yeah. So, True. yeah. Okay. I'm excited I... to see the whole care package tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, you're going you're gonna to be filled up. <laughs> I tell you, it's a lot of food. That's nice. Okay. Um, a fan asked, what's, what's your... Um... Oh. Okay, what's your your biggest memory with national team? What did you enjoy the most? Um, that was winning our first game at the Euros. It was against Norway. Um, mm -hmm. I think we played at Breda, the stadium in Breda. Mm -hmm. So if you would ask me to uh, to choose one stadium to play in for the World Cup, I would say Breda as well because oh, it gives us luck. Um, so yeah, we won against Norway. That was pretty crazy. We had a lot of fans because, um, yeah, it was not far to travel for the fans. Um, so, yeah, it was really nice. I actually miss the fans in the stadium. Seriously, it's like, especially, it's a big difference, I think. Like, you yeah. feel the support, especially in women's football, it's really close, everything. Yeah. And then having the support and now it's not, like it, yeah, it does a lot, I think. It's like a game in preparation or like a friendly game now. Exactly. It feels yeah. I mean I mean it's really good for us to still be playing and have the opportunities to actually play football. True. 
but uh, yeah it's it's different i have to say and i'm looking forward to yeah when we have fans again true did no one in the, in your team in Wolfsburg or the national team had uh, had uh, <laughs> Pauline is here <laughs> <laughs> hi Pauline <laughs> um had uh, had corona like were they infected uh, i have to knock on wood no not so far oh. okay that's good Wolfsburg so far no one and also national team um, I can't think of anyone from the girls having had corona so far which is good but I also think um because we have a lot of players that are able to do their football professionally yeah like they don't have to go to work or stuff or don't have a lot of connections outside of football true so yeah a lot of girls are studying and uh, I think this is also a big part why no one like why we don't have so many people getting that's like, true that's and you true. girls um, I think in my team, um, in Anderlecht, we had two, and one was like positive for three weeks. It was really sad. Oh wow! Um, and in the national team, we had two, maybe two situations as well, but more like they weren't positive, but they had to go home because they they had contact with someone. Okay. But yeah, we we have more risks because, as I told you, um, some girls are working and stuff. Um, mm. But yeah, but that's why I'm actually glad that I'm not like abroad now because I don't think my family could visit me. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, it's pretty hard for the girls that are playing abroad now. Exactly. <laughs> Did you see P Poppy's not, uh, message? No, <laughs> I, was <laughs> I was reading Pauline that says we should talk in German. Do you still have got some German? Um, yeah, schon ein bisschen. Ein bisschen. <laughs> Yeah. In Belgium, you have like uh, different languages, right? Like you speak. Yeah, we have three. We have French, Dutch, and uh, and German a bit. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah well, we only got German. <laughs> but your, fair English, enough, I have your to say. English is good, though. Uh, what did Poppy say? Actually, I think she was saying the same with the you have to speak German. Uh, she she always said the uh, German bitter when we are when we were talking English in the locker room. Yeah, she remember that. can be really annoying. <laughs> <laughs> nah. Yeah. I don't know if I have anything else. I have a look as well. Um, Maybe yeah. What, what you expect from tomorrow's game? I was going to ask the same. Yeah. Yeah. Um, well, yeah, I, I guess we are the favorite. Like, um, yeah, this is our part. We want to keep the ball really long and want to have a lot of possession and, yeah, trying to, yeah, create chances and... Um, yeah, just keep the ball and um, be confident with the ball. And um, I think we are still also a young team, and uh, de this game is also on a higher level for us. So it's good for us to develop as a young team and as a group. So it's going to be really interesting playing against you guys. Yeah. Not often we play you guys, so it's going yeah. To be that's what I was thinking. It's been a long time since I played Germany. Mm -hmm. What yeah. do you expect? Um, I expect that we will have to defend a lot and it's a good thing because we have to work on that as well for us it's good to have um games now that uh, <laughs> i'm just like oh my god <laughs> everyone is saying that i have to speak german um so it's good for us that we have uh yeah big opponents uh, against us and and we have to yeah we have to work on that because at the euros as well it's going to be games like that and you mm -hmm. learn the most from it so yeah i'm excited to see how how <laughs> we'll cope with with your qualities. Yeah. I also have to say it's a good kickoff time because uh, people can actually watch it and they don't have That's to true. Watch. That's true. We have it's... it on two channels, I think. One in French and one in uh, in Dutch. Oh, cool. Yeah, we have one, like Eurosport. That okay. Shows. Okay. And, uh, yeah. Good chat. <laughs> yeah. I think I have uh, Besprechung now. Besprechung? Besprechung. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so yeah, <laughs> stay safe. You too. See you tomorrow. And see you tomorrow, right? Yeah, bye-bye. See ya.